Regardless of the Arizona election problems, the presidential candidates are moving forward after Western Tuesday. On the Democratic side, Hillary Clinton widened her lead over Bernie Sanders despite his win in Utah last night. Clinton now has 1,690 delegates and superdelegates, or about 75 percent of what she needs to clinch the nomination. Sanders has 946. And for the Republicans, Donald Trump won 59 percent of the delegates that were up for grabs yesterday, boosting his total numbers of delegates to 739. It takes 1,237 to secure the nomination. And Trump's political momentum triggered a big protest at the Arizona State Capitol today. As Cronkite News reporter Anthony Marroquin shows us, demonstrators are worried about Trump's influence on new state laws. Protesters gathered outside the state capitol to demand Governor Doug Ducey veto any new laws targeting undocumented immigrants. Everyone here in Arizona is not going to stand by and allow these anti-immigrant bills to be pushed forward. It's been coined the Trump effect. A lot of people working together to really raise their voice and fight against the hateful anti-immigrant uh, rhetoric that is out there uh, mainly through the uh, Trump campaign. The bills range from increasing punishment for sanctuary cities to rejecting all refugees. We're out here to show that these bills will not be accepted in, in Arizona anymore. Protesters say that legislation like this hasn't been present in Arizona since SB 1070 five years ago. They say that Trump's anti-immigration rhetoric is causing legislators to push bills like this more often. We are together on this. That is, uh, we have another wave of hate. All the community is going to come together to stop it. Nobody from the governor's office responded to the protesters, but the coalition of faith, labor, and immigrant groups will continue to pressure Ducey to reject Trump-style immigration laws. In Phoenix, I'm Anthony Marroquin, Cronkite News.